hey folks and welcome back to the channel. Now in this one we're going to be taking a look at the frankly massive update coming to V Rising in May of 2023. The Secrets of Gloomrot is the first major update for V Rising and it's going to be in the form of a free expansion. The developers posted a recent update to their blog which talks about the update in a bit more detail and I'm going to be summarizing the key things you'll need to know from that post and some other information we've been given previously. There will also be a link in the description if you want to read the development blog post in full. If you get something useful from this video or learn something you didn't know, please do consider dropping it a like and subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. So I'm going to start things off by getting into some of the new stuff that's coming up with this expansion. This will be purely informational and then later on I'll be taking a brief segment to talk about my opinions on all the aforementioned new stuff that we know is coming to the game. So with that we start with perhaps the biggest major addition in the Secrets of Gloomrot expansion, and that's Gloomrot itself. This is a new region of the map which, as we can see by this map the developers provided in the blog post, is just north of Dunley Farmlands and is a little smaller than Dunley as well. The new region is split into Gloomrot North and Gloomrot South, which the developers note are going to have unique challenges, enemies and technologies for both regions. Gloomrot is described as, and I quote here, a place of mad evolution and poison valleys. So that's pretty interesting and I'm sure it'll be a fun experience exploring the new area of the map. A brand new faction is also on the way for this new region. Now what's coming with Gloomrot? The developers make sure to specifically mention in their recent blog post that the Secrets of Gloomrot is more than just a big patch. It's an expansion level event and a wide scale update of the complete current state of the game. They do say that there's plenty of stuff they don't want to reveal or give away just yet. So I I guess the only real way to find out everything it will be to play when it drops. But for now, we have been given a bit of a roundup of some of the features that have been revealed. And in Dev Update 15, we were shown some work in progress footage of the Greatsword, a much requested weapon that will be added as part of this expansion. In the most recent blog post, however, the developers use this specific wording. They say new weapons and weapon skills, such as the much requested Greatsword. The way that they word this as weapons, plural, makes me think that there's more than just one additional weapon on the way, so we could have some new toys to try out in that regard. On top of the new region being added to the map, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, we're also getting some changes to the current map to make it more visually attractive and give us more points of interest to explore. The devs went into a bit more detail with this in a previous blog, showing off a couple of images from work in progress designs and stating that we should prepare ourselves for new encounters, new discoveries and new items to utilize. We've also been told to expect new enemy types and new V-Bloods, which are V-Rising's bosses essentially if you're not familiar, to fight in both the new regions of the map and the old ones. The developers are very focused on providing more variety and more reason to go out to different parts of the world. Some changes are also expected to the progression, which the devs state are aimed at making the experience smoother, but we're not really sure what form those changes will take just yet. Now for all the players that are out there that like to spend some more time at home, home building the castle of your dreams, there's something very special on the way for you guys in the Secrets of Gloomrot updates. If you've been keeping up with V Rising's development blogs, you'll have known this was on the way for quite some time now, but in this update we're also getting the addition of multiple castle floors when building. Previously we were only able to build at ground level, but with the new update we'll be able to expand upwards as well as outwards. Away from the safety of your dark domiciles, we're also going to be seeing trading posts being added in the Secrets of Gloomrot, which will be placed in several areas around Vardoran and will serve as a hub for vampires to use their silver coins. We were shown this image in one of the past blogs, which is a concept design of these trading posts. In the past, I know when I was playing regularly, I did find that I had a hell of a lot of silver coins with not much to use it on, so this is a much needed implementation in my mind. The idea behind these trading posts is that the goods available 
available will change frequently and will give the player the chance to buy rare materials that they might need for their crafting progression, allowing them to advance further into the game through other avenues. It could be gems that you haven't been able to acquire from drops, or it could be a recipe that you haven't been lucky enough to get from enemy encounters just yet. It's also mentioned that cosmetics for your base will be included in what the vendors sell as well. An interesting thing that they mention with these trading posts is that they'll need to be approached differently in different regions of the map as well. In Farbane Woods, for example, the vendor won't really care how pale your skin looks as long as you're not causing trouble, but in other regions like Dunley, you'll need to disguise yourself as a human in order to trade successfully. Now, moving on, the next major implementation coming with the Secrets of Gloomrot is the Jewel system. Now, this whole system, if you haven't heard of it already, is built to expand the possibilities of all the current spells in the game, as well as the new ones that are coming in the new update. Players can either find or craft jewels to unlock new perks for spells, which allows customization of your abilities to be even more personalized to your playstyle. This can make for stronger combos between abilities, trigger explosions, novas, forking projectiles, and these are just some of the examples given in one of the former blogs. We've been shown this image in the past, previewing the new UI intended to show the various spell schools. You can see on the right hand side the effect supplied by jewels I was just referencing. On the left is a new implementation, which is a new, unique benefit which applies to all spells within that school. Frost spells will apply a chill effect, blood spells will apply a life leech debuff, that sort of thing. The entire spell system, including individual abilities, are being reviewed and overhauled to improve combat as well. Essentially, there's a big rework on the way, and we'll be encouraged to try new combinations to get the best results that suit us as individual players. To go with the massive overhaul of all the current spells and abilities, we're also seeing a new addition in the form of legendary weaponry. These will be rare weapons that are found in the world, which will have randomized benefits related to your character's abilities. We haven't been told much else than this at present, but I'm all up for the chance of some very rare weapon drops that might encourage unique playstyles that would otherwise not be so viable. Last but by certainly no means least is the territory system, a complete rework of the way land claiming works in V Rising. If any of you have played V Rising for an extended amount in multiplayer, you'll likely know that selecting a location for your castle is a bit of a pain in the ass at times. The new territory system aims to allow players to claim individual plots of land instead of the current system that requires the player to place a castle heart and then expand around it. On screen now are the goals the developers listed in a previous update that they would like to achieve with the new system. In short though, they want to be able to fit more players into the world in a more balanced way, reduce player friction around base claims that appear small at first and expand later, potentially blocking off other bases, and prevent various technical issues associated with that system. The Secrets of Gloomrot is going to be the first of three major updates for V Rising, so we know we've got more on the way, and what's exciting about this particular update is that the developers are making a pretty big deal out of emphasizing that there's more stuff that hasn't been revealed just yet. I'm really hoping that over the coming months we might get some teaser footage or more of an in-depth look at some of the features included in the update to really get the hype going, and also showing us a bit more of what to expect without physically needing to play the game for a while first. Whether this update will have enough to bring players back to the game for an extended period of time, I'm really not sure. For me, the biggest issues with V Rising was that whilst the game was incredibly enjoyable, completing the game in its entirety didn't take too long, and once we reached the final boss, there was nothing more to do outside of PvP with other players, and I'm generally a PvE person. If anything, I think one of the biggest things V Rising could do to bring players back to the game is to create a hard mode or new game plus that players can optionally choose to enter upon completing all of the available V Blood encounters, which will provide a revamped version of each boss with new skins, new abilities, and generally speaking, harder fights. Obviously, there would need to be a lot of additional items and other stuff to support this, so I know it'd be a huge undertaking, but V Rising's issue for me has always been how long it can be played for before I feel I'm done with the available content. Hopefully the developers have playtime and content in mind with this first expansion and we'll see some stuff that keeps us busy for a good while. Anyway, that's all for me in this one folks, but I'd be interested to hear from you guys on this one in the comments. What would you like to see added to V Rising? Do you think that the update will be enough to make you come back to the game? Are you excited for the secret? 
Secrets of Gloomrot update. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Special thank you to all of my existing patrons for supporting the channel, joining me on our whitelisted game servers, and if you want to join them, there is, as always, a link in the description to the Patreon. Thanks folks, and I will see you all in the next one.